Hello, I'm Josh with Tooth and Nail Armory, and today we are going to do uh, the trigger install for our uh, trigger assembly. So, uh, as you can see here, I've got a um, just the lower receiver uh, from MKA 1919. Uh, we've already cut the uh, buttstock off for our stock adapter, and uh, so first thing you want to do is go ahead and remove your safety detent. Um, this is a non-XN model. On the XN models, um, you won't really be able to see the top of it. Um, they actually screw all the way down against the safety, uh, but you will go ahead and back that out to the top of the receiver, and then you should be able to pull your safety selector out. Sometimes this can be a little tough to get the safety selector up out of the way, or the detent out of the way of the selector here. Once you've removed your safety selector, go ahead and use a small punch. Man, that's the wrong one. Somebody switched them out on me. Hang on one second. All right. I have the right punch. To go ahead and tap out the factory hammer pin. Put slight pressure on the hammer to keep it in place. Release the hammer, set it aside. Um, this time, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you uh, what you need to do with the hammer and the factory bushing. So you can see, this is one of the factory bushings. It uh, actually fell out of the hammer. Um, yours probably won't do that. Uh, most of them, they actually come from the factory. Uh, lock tied it into the hammer. You will probably have to put this in a vise and um, drive them apart. It's actually a two-piece deal. Um, one side will come off and it'll come out of the hammer. You'll need to put your new hammer spring on. You can do this one of two ways. Um, if you put the coils forward like so, uh, the trigger pull will, will be uh, quite a bit lighter than what the factory is and the hammer spring um, will be slightly heavier than what the, the factory is. Um, if you put the coils facing the rear, uh, the hammer spring, or you'll have an extremely hard strike, but it'll also increase your trigger pull significantly. But um, I'm going to go ahead and put the, the coils forward just for a little slightly nicer trigger pull. Um, go ahead and insert your, insert your silver bushing and then put your bronze bushings on both sides of the spring like so and then set that aside and next you'll need to drive out the factory trigger pin using the same method as before again slight pressure on the spring and disconnector will make that easier to take out and then go ahead and remove your factory trigger assembly. You can set that aside. You won't be using any part of that anymore. Uh, now you can take your tooth and nail uh, trigger assembly and uh, go ahead and insert that into your lower, making sure the legs of the spring stay forward. Make sure those are there. You know, push that down and line the up and then we'll take the short uh, trigger pin and just tap that in 
and you'll notice the the slave pin drops out there you want to you can do one of two things you can either save that for later or discard it that's it's totally up to you uh, but if you ever do try or plan on taking your lower part it's nice to have that slave pin so you don't have uh, your disconnector and disconnector spring and everything coming apart well you go ahead and drive that in make sure everything's free which it is okay next you'll take your hammer make sure your the legs of your hammer spring are on top of the trigger body push that down make sure your holes line up insert this pin then you want to test your trigger make sure everything works correctly um, Go ahead and keep your trigger pulled and set your hammer all the way back and engage in the disconnector. Release your hammer, make sure it goes up and goes onto the sear, and then pull the hammer, make sure everything works correctly. Um, and then you'll be ready to put your safety back in. So put in your selector, your detent spring, and small screw that holds it all together if I can get the caution to come in straight here all right. and on the non-XN models uh, just need to screw that down flush with the top of the little receiver. The XN models, you'll need to screw that um, quite a ways down into the receiver. Uh, basically just um, screw it down until uh, you can activate your selector uh, like you feel it should be. Um, you can adjust your, your tightness and looseness on that however you feel is or what, what you feel is necessary. Um, then you want to make sure that your safety works correctly. Make sure it goes into the safe and make sure you cannot pull the trigger. And after that's done, you're ready to reassemble your gun.